hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing an update video because last time that I ever uploaded um, was when I was still pregnant and I was I was doing seafood boil mukbangs um, before we get any further my eyebrows looking crazy because I got them microbladed um, and they're in the healing process so right now they're scabbing and the scabs uh, are falling off as they're healing um, it looks like I don't have any pigment and I guess the process of microblading is that they look like this the scabs fall off and then it looks like you don't have eyebrows like the microblading process didn't work for you but after all that is done I guess the cut the, like the pigment comes back and then you have like these beautiful eyebrows I just have to go back to um, get them retouched um, or like a touch-up just <laughs> If you know when they're fully healed and I, I need some shading done or like there's just some that you know some places that the pigment didn't stick to you know just get those areas done but that's why they look crazy like that don't think that I'm just you know wanting to look crazy like that because I want to anyway so today my baby Liliana is officially one month and two weeks old um, and she is with daddy right now I just had a little bit of time because I brought my sister to do a procedure and I'm just waiting for her in the car obviously because due to the pandemic we cannot wait in the hot you know in the place with her so I'm here in the car I found a little shady spot um, because it's like it is 80 degrees so I didn't want to park like right in the Sun anyway so yes motherhood has been so crazy the baby is with dad right now um i've been i'm a little nervous because today is like officially his very first day of being with baby by himself um he he helps me take good care of her but i'm always like nearby like you know i'm always in the house like i'm always in the vicinity of where you know they both are now that i'm far away you know i'm a little nervous and it's not that I'm nervous because I don't trust my husband and taking care of the baby it's just that I know how hard it is and sometimes you know when you take care of a baby's needs and they're still crying it can be a little frustrating um, since you like said oh, okay well I changed her diaper I fed her I burped her um, she's not hot or she's not cold or whatever and she doesn't want to sleep or she's still crying it can be a little frustrating because it's obviously hard to figure out a um, a newborn when they can't really tell you anything they just cry so but I'm just I'm just nervous on that area but anyway he is a good dad my husband is a good dad he is very caring so I know that she is in very good hands but I, I was texting and calling just to make sure everything's fine. As of the moment, like an hour ago that I called, she was peacefully sleeping after giving him hell because she was hungry and um, daddy was taking forever to make her a bottle. So she was just like going off. But anyway, as I was saying, motherhood is really such a blessing and like so hard and like just, it's just everything all in one um i am blessed that i was able to be a mom and we didn't even plan for this like it just happened like you guys you know if you guys been watching my videos you know that this wasn't planned it was just like boom like boom you're pregnant i'm just like you know where do we go from here but now we're here <laughs> and now the baby's here um we you know kept this little human alive for a whole month so i think we'll be we will be okay um, she's getting to a routine she is sleeping longer at night um, her long stretches are like four three to four hours um, at night it used to be every two hours around the clock that she would wake up and feed but now she you know at night she sleeps for three to four hours straight and then she gets up and you know I feed her and then she goes back to sleep um, so she's a pretty good baby um she doesn't really she just right now what she does is eat sleep poops and you know that's that's all it is she's just that and so, you know she's staying awake for a little longer now 
So, you know, we can hear her, like, her baby talk and her baby facial expressions and all that stuff. So it's been really fun to see her grow. And since it is the summer, I have the, the whole summer off. So I will be returning back to work a day before she turns three months. So I'm also happy and blessed that I got to, you know, spend this whole entire time with my baby, especially the last month of me being pregnant because it was just, I want to say like month and a half because she came May 18th and I was due May 22nd. So like month and a half um, because due to the pandemic, the school, since I work in the school system, they closed in March. Um, first, we were going to have like a day off I think um, or like several days off and then all of a sudden they said schools are officially closed until further notice and I'm just like alright and you know I'm happy that that happened on my end because I was able to rest and just stay home and not having to wake up those days that I didn't feel like you know going to work or doing anything um and just had like forcing myself but the last month and a half of the pregnancy was the hardest I think it kind of like reminded me when I was like in the first trimester that I was just so like I didn't want to really eat I was just tired I didn't really want to do anything but I would you know push myself to do things around the house to clean to cook to um, help with whatever I could um, and just keep pushing. So, yeah, like, I spent this whole time resting. And then finally she came. I um, started contracting um, on May, like, May 17th, like, the day before she came. So, and it was, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon when I started. Well, it was in the morning. That day in the morning, I, I started feeling them. But when my husband and I decided like maybe we should like eat something first and then go um they stopped like I was still contracting but then they would stop and it would be like 15 30 minutes apart and then it just all of a sudden it went from like being 15 to 30 minutes apart to 40 to an hour apart so I was just like okay well this is not the real deal like I we still call the hospital like my doctor and my doctor was like, well, since you are a first-time mom, come when there are, like, five or, what she say, three to two minutes apart. Um, and that's when you will be for sure that, you know, you are contracting and the day has come. So then we went home and we took a nap, thank God, because then I was up for, like, more than 24 hours. Um, we took a nap and then the contractions woke me up from my nap and I have an app like on the baby center thing and I was counting them from there and it would literally be it started from just being four minutes apart to quickly being three to two minutes apart and when they were two minutes apart I told my husband to call and tell them that we were on the way because this you know this is a real deal now um and, and they were like that for a whole hour. So I was just like, all right, we, we have to go. So we went, they got, you know, they confirmed like, yes, you are contracting. Um, and they admitted us in and we were just waiting, you know, just we were in the um, room and I was kept walking all over the place just to make the process even faster. And then finally, almost after 24 hours or almost 24 hours, she came May 18th um at three like three o'clock in the afternoon healthy little baby six pounds 19 inches she was perfect um and then we came home we stayed at my sister's house for two weeks because she was you know thankfully she wanted to teach us the ropes and since neither me or my husband ever been taken care of a newborn baby we didn't know what we got ourselves into so you know obviously we've been around babies and newborns and stuff but they're not ours like we would carry them and we're like oh so cute this is beautiful okay here you go dad and mom you know like 
there you go take your baby back now we can't say all right like my baby's so cute um let me you know just return her and then pick her back up when i feel like you know hugging and loving on her again so anyway we stayed with my sister um for two weeks so she taught us everything we needed to know and i asked a whole bunch of questions she has five kids so she's experienced my mom helped me a lot too um i am breastfeeding so i also had to switch my diet and learn what i was able to eat and what produces more milk like helps me produce more milk and what would stop my milk production at first i was struggling with it and i still kind of am um struggling a little bit that's why i kind of introduced formula to her just in case like for those times that i'm not making enough she still has something to eat and i i have a peace of mind um and then also when i go back to work i want her to i wanted her to get used to the bottle because you know whoever takes care of my baby um when we finally decide who the babysitter will be um, she needs to learn how to eat from a bottle because if not, then it's like I won't be able to go to work if she can't. Um, anyway, so I want to get back on like doing mukbangs, but I would, I'm not going to do like seafood boil mukbangs for right now um, or like really spicy extreme food like that because I do have to watch what I eat um, because I still have to kind of slowly introduce um, different spices and foods to the baby um, because at first, the very first day that I arrived from the hospital to my sister's house, I ate because, you know, I was so hungry and they made, um, my mom had made chicken soup and a hot chocolate beverage and so I was eating that and then my little niece came over and she had this fruit it's called guayaba right and she gave it to me and i took it and i was just playing with it at first and then finally i took a bite out of it and my sister saw me and she's like you can't eat that and my mom was like yeah you can't eat it and i'm like with a piece of fruit in my mouth still chewing after they said that i couldn't eat it i was still eating it but it was such a small amount that i was just like oh okay you know whatever because i guess that that would give the baby colic and like fussiness and whatever and so i still ate it <laughs> after they said no you can't eat it whatever and since no one told me when my little niece gave it to me like actually don't eat it like you know just take it from her but just don't eat it no one told me so i thought it was safe to eat so i ate it not the whole thing though just a little piece and then i fed the baby and oh my gosh that night she was up every 30 to 40 minutes because it wasn't that she was hungry it was that she was very uncomfortable she had a stomach ache she was very colicky and all because i ate that little piece of fruit so now i know that you know whatever you eat you know gets transferred to some of it gets transferred to the breast milk and then it gets you know to the baby and because they have such a small digestive system and they're still trying to get used to it that you know it'll it'll, it'll hurt them so i just wanted to throw that out that um i still want to do um videos but i would maybe do like upload twice a week maybe or maybe once a week just to keep you you know just to keep my videos up and going because i mean i like doing videos for you guys anyways my video is up to 14 minutes long i didn't want this to be that long i'm just like rambling off but anyway um so yeah i am here i will i am planning to do videos and showing my baby to you guys um and just showing you guys the motherhood process i i guess while eating food with you <laughs> i don't know but yeah guys um like share and subscribe and i will see you guys soon bye